How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, um, we're going to be talking about Docker Compose YAML files, or YML, or YAML. It, it really, any either file extension uh, will work. The last three digits here is your file extension, um, or numbers, or letters, whatever they are. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Docker Compose. This is the Docker Compose we downloaded in the last video, which is called IT Tools. If you open it with a, a text editor, you can see it's very, very simple, not a lot to it, okay? But I'm going to show you guys how to run it and how to utilize it. So I'm going to close this out. So the first thing you need to do, we can see that we are in my uh, user and we are in Docker. So if you open up the terminal, you can see I'm in my user. So I'm going to hit LS. You can see this is the list of everything in this folder. And then I'm going to type in CD Docker to change to the location of my YAML file, right? If I, LS, if I LS in here, you can see I have the Docker Compose file right there. All right. So to test this out, I just want to show you, we're going to go ahead and from Docker desktop, or I mean, you could do it here too. It doesn't it really doesn't matter. So let's, let's do it from here. So Portainer. We're going to click on this guy, we're going to click on this guy, we're going to say stop container. So that has stopped it from running. If you come back to the container dashboard, you can see it's exited, not running. And then we're going to go ahead and click remove. We're also going to remove the volume, Hit N, and that goes ahead and removes it. We only have one container running, and even um, the volume down here has been removed, everything. So you're good to go, okay? Um, if we come back in here, Yep, one container, one's been removed. So it's completely gone from the system. Now we're gonna show you how to use this Docker Compose file. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in docker-compose up minus D. So let's explain to this uh, command. So Docker Compose calls Docker Compose, pretty simple, right? Up means start it, run it, and minus D means detached from the terminal just like it did previously in Docker run commands. Now you have to do this command from the location of your Docker Compose file. Mine's inside of Docker. Okay. Um, every time you're in a Docker file, you really should do actually this. So I'm actually going to do this because it's a better way to do it. So you should type in IT tools. That's the name of your thing, your container. Put that in there. And then actually, we're not going to run it from here because now we got to change it. So it should be CD IT tools. Hit enter, and then um, we're going to now type in the Docker dash compose up minus D. So if we do this, this will run that Docker compose file, the config that's in there, and we'll start the um, container just like when we did the run command. So hit enter, boom, 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 done, okay? We come back into Portainer now, and let's see if I can refresh it, there we go. There it is, and then if we come back in here, it should be running again under the same port number, and there you go, okay? So we're, we're all up and running, and we ran IT tools from a Compose file, which is awesome. All right, let's talk about what other things we can do. We can also type in docker-compose, if I can type, compose, PS, and it should give us docker-compose information. Just like docker-ps works, this is only docker-compose from the YAML file we have running right here. So it's specific, okay? Um, we can also do docker-compose down, and what this will do is it will effectively shut down and remove that container. So once again, we come back in here, and you can see container's gone, right? It's gone, and its volume should be removed as well, yep, okay? So that's all done. Now, the image is still technically here, you haven't deleted that, but you've removed the volume and you've removed the container and stopped it, all of it. One, one simple command, docker down, will do that for you. All right, let's see what other docker compose things we can run. 
Let's try this one. I don't know if it's going to work at this point, but we may have to bring the container back up. But let's just see um, if I can do it. Docker Compose Log. Yeah, Docker Compose Logs. So there's just some information about Docker Compose. Let's 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 start the container back up. So let's go Docker Compose up minus D. And I did that by going up and down on my, my directional pad on my keyboard and it scrolls through last commands. So I'm gonna hit that. And then I'm gonna go up one more too and then go Docker Compose Logs again. Okay, now you've got some logs that are off of that container that's running a lot more information. Might be helpful for troubleshooting, things like that. So there you go. Very cool, very awesome. This is Docker Compose. I will try to give you a whole bunch of examples below this video of Docker Compose files. Um, a lot of them need to be edited for your specific use case, but I think you'll get the layout and the understanding of them as you see some more examples below the video. So we're gonna just double check. We should have two, yep, obviously two instances running, right? That's great, Cont uh, Portainer, IT Tools, again, you can see them, Portainer, IT Tools, and most of these kind of containers are going to have a web interface. Most of the ones I run do for sure. Um, some may not, it depends on your application, but pretty awesome. I hope you guys have learned a little bit here about Docker Compose and are enjoying these videos. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna get into Docker Build and some of the Docker files and cool stuff you can do with that, building your own containers here in the next video. So we'll catch you in that one. Root Junkie out.